Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Out Loud with Donnie. I'm Donnie Lord. I created this ESL channel for my students who are looking for a resource to practice speaking English like a native. You will find both text and video displayed in each episode, along with a few vocabulary words. While watching these videos, it's important for you to notice and imitate how my jaw, lips, teeth, tongue, throat, and nasal passage all work together to make the sounds required by the English language. Be sure that you pay attention to the speed and pitch of each word. If you need to, stop, pause, rewind, and rewatch these videos as much as you need to to make these words correctly. And if you can, record yourself. That way you can self-evaluate your performance. If these videos are helping you, hit that subscribe button. You will be the first to know when new episodes are created. And so if you're ready, we'll get started with today's lesson. Today's lesson is on the humorous poems called limericks. A limerick is a humorous poem consisting of five lines. The first, second, and fifth lines must have seven to 10 syllables while rhyming and have the same verbal rhyme. The third and fourth lines should only have five to seven syllables. They too must rhyme with, with each other and have the same rhyme. Our vocabulary today, first word is buried as an adjective, placed or hidden underground, covered up or repressed, flatter as a verb, lavish praise and compliments on, humorous as an adjective, causing laughter and amusement, having or showing a sense of humor. Nest as a noun, a structure or place made or chosen by a bird for laying eggs and sheltering its young. Syllable, noun, a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound, forming the whole or a part of a word. For example, there are two syllables in water and three in inferno. Our first limerick. There was a small boy from Quebec, written by Rudyard Kipling. There was a small boy of Quebec who was buried in snow to his neck. When they said, are you frizz? He replied, yes, I is, but we don't call this cold in Quebec. Next, there was a young lady of station. There was a young lady of station. I love man was her sole exclamation. But when men cried, you flatter, she replied, oh, no matter. I love man is the true explanation by Lewis Carroll. Thirdly, there was an old man with a beard. There was an old man with a beard who said, it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. Written by Edward Lear. Next up, there was a young lady of Lynn. There was a young lady of Lynn, who was so uncommonly thin, that when she essayed to drink lemonade, she slipped through the straw and fell in anonymously written. Last one of the day, my firm belief is that Pizarro, my firm belief is that Pizarro received education at Haro. This alone would suffice to account for his vice and his views superstitiously narrow. This is written by Aldeus Huxley. To wrap up, limericks are wonderful human, uh, humorous poems. Literary nonsense is a rich and enjoyable genre. Limericks are just the beginning. These examples demonstrate the accessibility and diversity of the limerick form. For some further examples of funny lim limericks, why not create your own? Thank you for watching another episode of Reading Out Loud with Donnie. I hope that you have and are learning a lot about English through these videos. If so, don't forget to subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, comment, all of that great stuff. And if you would like personal one-on-one -on -one English classes with me, please hit the link. It's in the description. 
it'll look something like this. I hope you have a super day.